Hello, what is up my chef? Chefy here again back with another video and you may be wondering why I'm in this random little cave. Well, today I'm going to be showing you all of the Terraria light pets. So when it's pitch black like this, by the way, I have no idea why my facial hair is lit up. I am confused by that <laughs> but whenever you're in pitch black and you can't see but you want to do some mining that is where a light pet comes in handy so to start off let's go with the first one which is the shadow orb so this is the shadow orb it just kind of sits there um, and it gives off this purple light so it's not the brightest of them all but it does follow you and it does give light the exact percentage is 65 percent light and you can get the shadow orb by smashing shadow orbs very shocking i know and you can also get it from crates that you fish up from the corruption biome specifically the corruption crates not just any crate next up if you have the crimson alternative this is the Crimson Heart. Now this one doesn't float, it just kind of bounces around and it looks like it's spraying blood constantly. So interesting, also kind of looks like a butt, not gonna lie. <laughs> but it gives off a red tint and it also is 65% light. And you also get it by smashing Crimson Hearts in the Crimson or opening Crimson Crates from fishing next up is the magic lantern this one that looks pretty cool and it gives off 65 percent light as well you can get it from the skeleton merchant and what's cool about the magic lantern is it highlights treasure so if you notice if i have it over here there's some sparkles up here what is that let me go check it out oh hey would you look at that it's some ore some platinum ore very nice can help you if you don't want to use spelunker potions not quite as good as spelunker potions but it's better than nothing next up is the fairy this is actually a craftable one but you'll need to be in hard mode you'll need a bell pixie dust soul of light and soul of sight i don't remember the exact numbers of each of those but those are all the ingredients and you have a little fairy and if you activate it a bunch, you can get different colors. There's pink, blue, and let's see if I can, and green. Green's the third color. So a little bit of customization. And this gives off 80% light. So it's a little bit better than those other ones so far. Next up is the flicker wick. This one looks really cool in my opinion. It also gives off 80% light, so it's a little bit better than those other ones. And this one is dropped from an ogre in the Old Ones Army's event. So good luck getting it. Looks pretty cool and gives off 80% light. All right, next up is Wisp in a Bottle. This one also looks really cool. It's like a flaming skull, but it's blue flames. So, and it just kind of hovers above your head. This one gives the most light so far out of the ones we've seen. It gives off 120% light. And what's cool about this one is it can be controlled. So if you're in like a tight area like this, you just use your movement keys and you can control where it goes. So if you need to look in a specific area for something, this is super nice. And as you can tell, there's a limit to how far it goes but still really useful and it's 120% light. This is dropped in the hard mode dungeon by Armored Bones. That is the wisp in a bottle. Next up we have the suspicious looking tentacle and you can probably guess where this comes from, the Moon Lord. And this is actually expert mode or master mode only because you get it from a treasure bag which is expert mode or master mode this also gives off 120 percent light and it's like a floating eye tentacle thing looks pretty cool but it gives off a lot of light now there are a few light pets that are only master mode so beyond expert and the first one comes from the pumpkin it's called the pumpkin scented candle and you get like a little pumpkin 
that follows you. The light is yellowish, but it is 120%. And like I mentioned, you can only get this in master mode from the pump king. Next for the master mode light pets is the golem. This one's pretty cool. It has a 25% chance to drop from the golem. And it's just a mini golem. But it also gives off 120% light. Let's see if I can get him to come over here. There we go. He does not fly around, so it's not quite as useful, I would say, as some of the flying ones. But it looks really cool. I really like how he looks and gives off 120% light. That is the golem. And last but not least is the fairy princess. This is dropped from the Empress of Light, and it also gives off 120% light, and it floats around, looks cool, and honestly, I think this is the best light. Some of them have different, like, colors to the light, but this one just seems natural. I guess there's a little bit of a pinkish hue on the outside, but where you are, it looks natural, and it gives off a ton of light, and it flies next to you, which is super nice. Defeat the Empress of Light in Master Mode, and you got it. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Which pet is your favorite out of these light pets? Do you like certain colors of light better than others? Or do you just base it off of the look of the pet? Let me know in the comments. Thanks to Rejon Joe for being a member of my channel. If you wanna support me, click that join button. It helps me further my videos and create more Terraria content like this. See you guys in the next one.